and it is a very good morning to you from Blue Root Mall in Takai, where we are gathered for the first quarter final of the 2023 Discam Brain of Cape Talk. As you can hear, we've got a very supportive audience with us live in person and a warm welcome to the audience listening at home who I know are equally eager to play along. What you missed is just before we crossed to you, Abs, we crowned a, a new junior brain of the week, a very impressive performance by 12-year-old Tabiso Charlie of Mandalay Primary who walked away with a prize of 3,000 Rand. Now we are on to the big guns. Our adult winners from the week are with us all of them competing for a prize of 10,000 Rand. And a reminder that the winner of this round doesn't stop there. They earned their place in the finals coming on 25th of February at Tiger Valley Shopping Center. There is a lot on the line this morning. Thank you to all those who've come down to support in person. And a very warm welcome to our five contestants. I'll give you a brief introduction to all of them, and then we'll chat in depth to each of them as they play their round. Our Monday winner is Sean Featonby of Nurtuk. From Tuesday, we have Heine McCarthy of Edgemead. Wednesday's winner, Gabby Jacobs from Plumstead. Our Thursday brain, Lishka Dyers of Boetesich. And Friday's winner, Melissa Weber from Durbanville. Good luck to all of you today, and may the best man or woman win. At Prime Media Broadcasting, we have a term, don't mess it up. <laughs> we use different words, but it means the same thing. And you never do, Bruce Whitfield, which is why you are our quiz master today. Oh, Thank no. you in advance. Hope I haven't just jinxed you. Bruce is going to be taking us through the questions one by one. A reminder that it works exactly the same as it does on air, just with slightly longer time and a couple of extra questions for our listeners to get through. He will remind us of the rules in just a moment. But first, I think without further ado, we must meet our first contestant. Uh, Monday's winner, Sean Featonby, is a supply chain software executive from Nurtuk, absolutely passionate about the outdoors and particularly anything to do with the ocean. Are you a, a surfer, Sean? Um, not so much a surfer, but a bit of paddling. Um, okay, a paddler. In the sea whenever I can get in there, yeah. Can I just ask you to speak a little closer Sorry. into the microphone so everyone can hear? There we go. Uh, Sean from Nurtuk, and I know you love traveling. Uh, any favorite destination? Um, Italy, probably. Italy, okay. Oh, food, for the food, for people, the weather. everything. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, let's see if a little Italian passion can creep into his uh, performance today. Sean, uh, a reminder that uh, you are the first contestant. Each uh, who follow will be given the same amount of time and the same number of questions, but it is Sean who gets to set the bar. Bruce, don't you take us through the rules of how he does that? Absolutely right. Contestants, if you can focus not looking at me, I know it's hard not to, but the trick here is to speak directly into the microphone, please. Your focus has got to be 100% on ensuring that the judges and I can hear each and every single answer absolutely clearly. You're all gonna be given exactly the same amount of time. It is 90 seconds and you can answer up to 25 questions. Now, there's some very clear rules. Um, the, the contestant who gets the most answers correct is the winner, that's the way we do it here. Uh, if you don't know the answer, you can say pass. If there's time and I don't mess it up, we'll come back to it. Um, if you do pass the spelling question, I have to spell out the whole word. So you can't skip the spelling question without a time penalty. If the answer is wrong, I will give you the right answer. And please, please, can we have a tie? Because I love going to sudden death. Because it just extends the pain and the agony. And that's the only reason I agreed to come here was because there was the opportunity of sudden death. Sean, if you are ready. I'm ready, Bruce. Excellent, Sean. Your 90 seconds start now. Three, two, one. Sean, spell the word accidental. A C C I D E N T A L. Correct. Complete the saying, he's just playing devil's what? Advocate. Correct. Complete the name of the SA20 cricket team, Mumbai what? Cape Town. Pass. In which, country, which country's Prime Minister will you found it, find a 10 Downing Street? The United Kingdom. Correct. What sport does Jaden Hendrickson play for South Africa? Football. Rugby. In which city is the National Women's Monument? Pass. Which, country, which word altruistic does it mean humane or indecent? Humane. Correct. Which country has six stars on its flag, Australia or China? Australia. Correct. The abbreviation NHTL stands for National House of Traditional What? Leaders. Correct. On what day and month is Human Rights Day in South Africa? 16th of September. 
21st of March. In which province is Herald's Bay? Eastern Cape. It's the Western Cape. Complete the title of Athol Fugard's play, Busman and Who? Pass. Which is the name of Algeria's currency, dollar or dinar? Dollar. Dinar. Which international soccer team was captained by Lionel Messi at the 2022 Argentina. World Cup? Correct. Which is a high-level cloud, Delta or Cirrus? Cirrus. Correct. In which African country will you find the city Kano? Pass. With true or false, a doctor specializing in matters relating to the bladder is a urologist? True. It would have been a point, but I'm afraid you didn't. You passed a couple of questions. Um, and I forget which ones. But anyway, no, don't matter. Um, <laughs> but you got through. Um, I should mark them down, shouldn't I? You should, actually, I should Bruce. do that. But my pen is falling apart, and <laughs> that's two things I have to do at the same time. A few other things in this too much, well. frankly. Uh, we got through... 16 and a half questions. We got through 16 questions and it was a 50% strike rate. Sean scored eight. Sean, some of the guesses didn't go your way, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. Congratulations. A nice solid start. Uh, Sean Featonby of Nurtuk setting the bar at eight. Now that means for Tuesday's brain, Heine McCarthy of Edgemead. Heine, if you get eight, you stay in it. If you get less than eight, you uh, knock yourself out. You get more than eight, you raise the bar and take up the leaderboard, uh, the leader's chair. Heine is from Edgemead. He uh, has, I believe, competed in the brain of Cape Talk uh, several times. And how far did you get last time, Heine? I think I managed to get squeezed through one round and that was it. Okay, so you've already improved your winnings and performance this time. Okay. Yes, uh, also a sports fan, particularly passionate about golf. Uh, do you play or just watch? Well, um, just because I enjoy golf doesn't necessarily mean I'm good at it, but uh, yeah, I do really enjoy playing. I like an honest man. That's great. Okay. Heine, by the way, is a corporate sales manager. Heine, uh, you've heard the rules. Uh, you understand. You're hearing loud and clear. Are you ready to give it your best shot? I am. Over to you, Bruce. Thank you, Pepper. Heine, your 90 seconds start now. Three, two, one. Heine, spell the word adrenaline. A D R E N O. I L E. A L I N E. Complete the saying fools rush in where who fear to tread? Angels. Correct. Complete the name of the SA20 cricket team, Durban Super What? Giants. Correct. Which country's president will you find at the Kremlin? Russia. Correct. In what sport does Lana Fanikark represent South Africa? Netball. Swimming. In which city is the Fuertracker Monument? Paul. It is in Pretoria. Uh, does the word secure mean procure or endanger? Procure. Correct. Uh, which country has four stars on its flag? Pakistan or New Zealand? New Zealand. Correct. The abbreviation NYDA stands for the National What Development Agency? Youth. Correct. On what day and month is the Day of Reconciliation in South Africa? 26th of December. 16th of December. In which province is the place called Cozy Bay? Durban. KwaZulu Natal. Complete the title of Athol Fugard's play, Master Harold and the what? Pause. Boys, what is the name of Angola's currency, Kwanzaa or Frank? Frank. It's the Kwanzaa. Which international soccer team was, com was captained by Sergio Busquets at the 2022? Spain. Correct. Which low-level cloud is a low-level cloud, Cumulus or Antipode? Cumulus. Correct. Which African country is the city of Alexandria in? Pause. True or false, the doctor specializing in matters relating to the lungs is a pulmonologist. You would have got that right, but we didn't get to it on time. You passed on Alexandria. It is in Egypt. Uh, you passed on Master Harold and the boys. But uh, yes, a, a good 16 questions asked and answered. Well, you asked for a tie, Bruce, and you've got one so Excellent. far. Excellent. Well done. I <laughs> do uh, like congratulations. people follow instructions. <laughs> They're very obedient, aren't they? Heidi, congratulations. You too have scored eight. So the bar remains set at eight, and it means that our Wednesday brain, Gabby Jacobs of Pumpstead, needs nine or more to take up the leading position. And good luck. Gabby is a publisher from, uh, from Plumstead. And Gabby, I believe you too have played uh, with some degree of success in the past. Is that right? Um, I just want to get past this round now. You've just got to get past this round. Okay, well, stranger things have happened. And uh, uh, I know that you made it to the quarterfinal rounds last year. So let's see if this is the year that you get to the finals. Uh, Gabby's favorite topics to talk about and answer questions about are all the things in the world of the arts, literature and films. But I believe you uh -oh. also are good at sports and capital cities. No pressure, anybody else. Are there any uh, categories you don't like answering? Um, sometimes... Um 
like sports teams. Sport oh, got lots of those. Got we got of those. those, I'm afraid, yeah, but uh, there we go. Uh, Gabby loves reading and writing and doing crosswords. Clearly, it's all uh, got her quite far already. And uh, good luck to you, Gabby. A reminder, you need nine or more to take the leading spot. Get an eight, you'll stay in the, the tie, and less than that, you'll uh, knock yourself up. Good luck to you. Gabby, if you're ready and you're comfortable. I'm ready, yes. Thanks, Bruce. Ready but not comfortable? That's one out of two. That's good enough for us. Your 90 seconds start now. Gabby, spell the word aggressive. A-G-G-R-E-S-S-I-V-E. -S -S -E. Correct. To complete the saying, I have a what to grind with you. Bone? I didn't hear. Bone. No axe. Complete the name of the SA20 cricket team, Joburg Super what? Challengers. Kings. Which country's president will you find in the Elysee Palace? Francis. Correct. What sport does Marco Janssen play for South Africa? Cricket. Correct. In which city is the Union Buildings? Pretoria. Correct. Does the word shroud mean cloud or veil? Veil. Correct. Which country has a red star on its flag? Turkey or North Korea? Turkey. No, it's North Korea. The abbreviation HPCSA stands for the What Professions Council of South Africa? Oh. Correct. Oh. On what day and month is the Day of Goodwill in South Africa? 26 December. Correct. In which province is Mossel Bay? Western Cape. Correct. Complete the title of Athol Fugard's play, Seize Where Bunzi is what? Dead. Correct. What is the name of Eritrea's currency, shilling or nakfa? Shilling. It's the nakfa. Which international soccer team was captained by Hugo Loris at the World Cup in 2022? France. Correct. Which is a mid-level cloud, alto cumulus or tundra? Alto cumulus. Correct. In which African country is the city Abidjan? Mm, Cote d'Ivoire. Correct. True or false, a doctor specializing in matters relating to mental disorders is a psychiatrist. True. Correct. Whoa. 17 questions. I did like the way you started, Gabby. The first question was, spell the word aggressive, and she went, A -G -G -R -R -E. <laughs> I was very aggressive. I was terrified. Well, she kept that aggressive pace going, and as she a result, did. got through 17 questions, of which you got 13 right. So it's a blistering uh, attempt. Well done, Gabby. Uh, and that means we have a new leader. The bar is now set at 13. No pressure whatsoever on Thursday's brain, Lishka Dyers. That means you need 13 now, Lishka, to stay in it. More than that, and we'll make you the current leader less than that, and we will uh, knock you out of the competition. Uh, Lishka, I believe, is also a repeat player. You've been playing the brain all the way since 2006. Is that correct? Yeah, um, Reedy asked me questions years ago, and I think I won one round there. But okay. yeah, I like February is my favourite month of the year. Because of the brain of Cape Town. Because of How the brain. About that? <laughs> okay. Um, uh, Lishka, I believe you love spending time with your family and friends, but you're also a geodata specialist. What does that oh. mean? <laughs> I'm trying to think, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, I am a reports coordinator, and um, we collect geodata from like different, from the survey industry, basically offshore survey for to make the world a safe and livable place. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, we thank you for that. <laughs> nice to have a safe and livable place. We appreciate the effort. Uh, right, Lishka, it is over to you and over to Bruce Whitfield with the next round of questions. Good luck. Cheers, Pepper. Lishka, if you're ready, your 90 seconds start now. Lishka, spell amphibious. A-M-P-H-I-S-I-B-E-O-U-S. I-O-U-S. Uh, complete the saying, it came like a bolt from the what? Sky. From the blue. Complete the name of the SA20 uh, cricket team, Pretoria what? Challengers. Capitals. Which country's president would you find at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue? USA. Correct. Does the sport, what sport does Sune Luce play for South Africa? Hockey. Cricket. In which city is South Africa's stock exchange? Um, Johannesburg. Correct. Does the word terminate mean conclude In. or determine? Conclude. Correct. Which country has a six-pointed star on its flag, Liberia or Israel? Israel. Correct. The acronym PAN-SALB stands for Pan-South African What Board? Um, pass. And what day and month is Workers' Day in South May. Africa? What day and month? One May. Correct. In which province is the town Plettenberg Bay? Western Cape. Correct. Complete the title of Athol Fugard's play, A Lesson from What? Pass. 
Which is the name of Ethiopia's currency, the pound or the burr? Pound. It's the burr. Which international soccer team was captained by Manuel Neuer at the 2022 Rugby uh, Soccer World Cup? Pass. Which uh, mid-level cloud, Nimbo Stratus or Nimbo Aquifer? Stratus. Correct. In which African country is the city Benguela? Um, pass. True or false, a doctor who specializes in matter relating to the heart is a cardiologist. cardiologist. Correct. The word breathalyzer is a combination of breath and what word would you have said? <laughs> no, I can't say anything. <laughs> it would be breath and analyzer. Yeah. Breath analyzer, breath analyzer. You passed on pan selb, which I don't blame you doing because it's a dreadful acronym. Um, it is the pan South African language board. You're never going to forget that. Uh, the title of Athel Fugard's play, it's one I'd forgotten, A Lesson from Aloes, and the African country with the city of Benguela at its heart is Angola. Of course. Congratulations, uh, Lishka. You had what was, until a few minutes ago, the leading score of eight correct answers out of a total of uh, 16 or 17 questions, if we count that last one. Uh, eight would have been enough before we met Gabby, but Gabby, with your score of 13, you remain our leader. Congratulations to you. And that means all the pressure now sits on the shoulders of Friday's brain. Uh, Melissa Weber of Durbanville, she's a financial services professional and I believe made it to the quarterfinals last year. That's why I recognize your face, yeah. Melissa. Um, how did it go last year? Um, I almost won. <laughs> you almost won, okay. Um, no, just remind me, when Usain Bolt won the 100 meters <laughs> in 2018, who came second? Nobody remembers. <laughs> and funny you should ch pick that example because the one thing Melissa's hoping for is not too many sports questions, <laughs> I uh, I can't guarantee you that, but I can guarantee you you get the same amount of time and the same number of potential questions uh, um, uh, to give it a shot. Melissa, good luck to you. A reminder okay. that you need to get 13 or more correct answers Melissa, to stay in the running. Melissa, please get 13, right? Because I do Bruce want... Bruce is dying for a time. I want a sudden death. <laughs> All right. Melissa, right, over to you, Bruce. Good luck to you, Melissa. If you are ready, your 90 seconds... Start now. Okay. Three, two, one. Melissa, spell antibiotic. A-N-T-I-B-I-O-T-I-C. Correct. Complete the saying, he's all brawn and no. Pass. Complete the name of the SA20 cricket team, what Western Cape? Pass. Which country's head of state will you find at the Royal Palace of Brussels? Belgium. Correct. What sport does Janine van Beek play for South Africa? Cricket. No soccer. In which city is South Africa's central bank? Pretoria. Correct. Does the word vanquish mean forget or conquer? Conquer. Correct. Which country has a black star on its flag? Ghana. Egypt or Ghana. Correct. The acronym SASRIA stands for the South African Special Risk What Association? Insurance. Correct. And what day and month is Youth Day in South 16 Africa? 16 June. Correct. What province is Sudwana Bay in? Um, Northern Cape. It's KwaZulu-Natal. Complete the name of the Athol Fugard play. The what to Mecca? The road. Correct. What is the name of Ghana's currency? Escudo or Sedi? Sedi. Correct. Which international soccer team was captained by Thiago Silva at the 2020? Result. Correct. What is a low-level cloud? Stratus or alluvium? Stratus. Correct. In which African country is the city of Mombasa? Kenya. Correct. True or false, a doctor specializing in matters related to the skin is a dermatologist. dermatologist. Correct. The word electrocute is a combination of electric and what word? Um, execute. Correct. In the series Game of Thrones, Jon Snow's dire wolf is called Spectre ghost. or ghost. ghost. It would have been Ghost. I was a little worried about you when you passed questions two and three, but it was a strategy that seems to have paid off. We'll get the detail now. He's all brawn and no... Bone. Brain. Ah. Most is bone, you're right. <laughs> uh, but yeah, all brawn and no brain. Um, these SA20 cricket teams would have stumped me completely. Would have stumped me completely. Um, the Eastern Cape Sun Rises, the Sun Rises Eastern Cape, and you passed on another one, so Rwanda Bay in, the, in, in KZN. But that was 18 and a half questions, the highest number of questions answered because you put on an astonishing pace. Papa. A feat of acceleration which stood you in very good stead, Melissa. Let me put you out of your misery and tell you that you have done it. You have a score of 14. What? Congratulations. What? <laughs> 
And that means that you are this week's Discam Brain winner. And uh, Melissa, that is 10,000 Rand for you to take home, talk, courtesy of Cape Talk and Discam. I shall now go spoil my dogs. <laughs> Clearly, uh, Melissa does have a winning mind in a healthy body, and she has put it to very good use today. Melissa Weber of Durbanville, congratulations to you, our new quarterfinal winner. You're not done yet. This means you book yourself a place at the end of this month to play in our final round at Tiger Valley. You and I can you walk there. <laughs> <laughs> you can walk there. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. Uh, Melissa, how are you feeling? I mean, that was a nerve-wracking thing, having to wait all the way to the end. Did you, you, were you confident you could do it? I wasn't confident I could do it, but I was glad when Gabby won, because then at least it would have been a woman who won. Here, here. <laughs> I was wondering, I was wondering whether, being a financial services professional, she would get SASRIA right. It's one of those dreadful acronyms again. And insurance tripped off her tongue like it was Just second like nature. that, it would have been embarrassing if it hadn't, I have to say. <laughs> it would have, it would have, but nobody at work knows that I played because I got the phone call yesterday afternoon. <laughs> so you've kept it quiet. So everybody listening, yes, it is that Melissa from your office in Turbanville. And no, you can't ask her for a share of your winnings uh, on Monday morning. She's bringing cake on Monday. <laughs> Melissa, congratulations once again.